This is a free lesson from the Photography Masterclass, which has over 20 hours of amazing content to help you become a better photographer. And if you like this video and want to take better photos, click on the link in the description to get an amazing discount. In this lesson, you'll learn what depth of field is. For many, when they hear the term depth of field, they think of a blurry background. We'll cover the ways you get a blurrier background in the next lesson. First, let's understand the definition of depth of field. Depth of field is the zone in your photos that has acceptable sharpness, what's appearing in focus. This zone varies from photo to photo. Some have a small zone known as a shallow depth of field. This means only a sliver of the scene is in focus. Others have a large zone called a deep depth of field. This means more is in focus, sometimes from just a few feet in front of the camera all the way to hundreds of feet in the distance. Let's do a demo so you understand what these zones actually mean. Here's an example of what focal plane means. I'm shooting Sam with our potted plant behind him. Right now, when I'm shooting, I'm focused on Sam. So he's in focus. He's in that zone, that focal plane that is sharp in our photo. What's behind him is out of focus. What's in front of him would also be out of focus. I can adjust my focus to the background. And now the focal plane is behind Sam. Sam is out of focus and what's behind him, the pod plant, is sharp in focus. There are three things that affect your depth of field. Aperture, the distance from your subject, and the focal length of your lens. You already know what aperture is, which is the hole inside your lens that allows light in. Remember that a larger aperture, which is the smaller f number or f-stop number, has a shallower depth of field. A smaller aperture, a larger f-stop, has a deeper depth of field. It may be easier to remember this by knowing that a smaller f-stop means less depth and a larger f-stop means more depth. Next, with distance, the closer your subject is to the camera and the further it is from the background, the shallower the depth of field is. Lastly, focal length also affects depth of field. There's a bunch of math in how this actually works, but basically the longer your lens, i.e. the more zoomed in you are, the shallower the depth of field you'll get when photographing from the same spot. By zooming in, you are crushing the depth of field, the zone of focus. What might have been in focus when zoomed out with a wide lens may not be in focus with a more telephoto or zoomed lens. To clearly understand how this works, we're going to demonstrate in the next lesson how to use these three factors to get a blurrier background. Thanks again for watching this free lesson from the Photography Masterclass. We hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, we have the full class ready and available for you to watch right now. So if you wanna take better videos, click on the link in the description to get an amazing discount. The original Photography Masterclass was taken by over 150 thousand amazing students who have gone on to become professional photographers and win photography competitions using the skills learned in the class. And this class is a complete redo that is better than ever with more content that will help you take better photos. Again, if you like this video and you want over 20 additional hours of lessons and content just like this that will help you take better photos than ever before, Click on that link in the description and enroll in the class. We can't wait to see you inside.